God bless Texas, but it doesn't value education like it should. School districts throughout the state are uh, fighting uh, and, and, and dealing with the issue of vacancies throughout their uh, professional ranks, their hourly ranks. We are bleeding teachers. As a parent, it's terrible to see all the teachers leaving. In Texas, lawmakers, state leaders, and school districts are all trying to figure out how to keep their teachers this school year. This, as a record number of teachers left the profession last school year, and as investigator Kelly Wiley found, some actually left in the middle of the school year. That's right. All summer long, school districts have been voting to raise salaries, provide bonuses to keep that from happening. But the question is, will it be enough? My name is Matthew McLendon, and the last place that I taught at was Northeast Early College High School. I'm Corey McAleese. I was a 10th grade high school teacher at Austin High School. I come from a low-income area, you know, teenage parents, poverty, the typical thing that kids struggle with, and the people who made the biggest impact on me growing up were my teachers. I was driving home one night, and I saw a billboard <laughs> that said, want to teach? I think I was the only kid, like, in elementary and middle school who was like, I'm going to be a teacher. After years of working in Texas schools, these teachers quit. Neither has plans to return to education. And this year was the hardest. And we get talked about, you know, to be a better teacher, you need to do this, you need to do this. But every year they cut our budget, they cut our staff, they cut our supports. It just got to a point where um, the opportunities and like kind of the pros that I saw we're being really suffoc suffocated by, by the things that were starting to really creep up and add in from you know, pay to what, you know, whatever. So I just looked up one night at my husband and I was like, dang, I think I need to, I think I gotta resign. My mental health has been affected by the financial stress I am under. At the beginning of the school year, I began driving for Uber on the weekends and sometimes on the weeknights to make ends meet. Here in the ISD, teachers feel undervalued underappreciated, underpaid, and overworked. Mm -hmm. Teachers and support staff have soldiered and sacrificed through a pandemic, and we are still here. We have weathered years of financial storms, and we are still here. Despite the alarming rise of teacher vacancies, many of us are still here. As school districts deal with the fallout of teachers leaving, state leaders are looking for solutions. Over the summer, Texas lawmakers discussed changing laws impacting teacher workload. A task force ordered by the governor is set to release recommendations to lawmakers in February about the growing retention issue. And many school districts are raising salaries and offering bonuses to recruit new teachers and keep those who stayed. To be able to give a compensation increase is we had to cut deep. And so that is uh, exactly what we did. Without a compensation increase, uh, we, we would begin losing our employees to uh, other school districts. Across the state, pay increases for this school year vary. In Austin ISD, the starting salary increased 2%, which is about $1,000 more than before. It is also offering signing bonuses, up to $1,500 for special education teachers and new teachers in areas that are difficult to staff. In Dallas ISD, first-time teachers will now make $3,500 more. But some school districts like Harper and Johnson City ISD did not increase starting salaries at all. Do you think teachers will be leaving for those same reasons because of pay next year? I think it's gonna vary by district, um, and districts are really competing against each other in terms of increasing compensation and salaries. I do think that this is also um, an issue that the legislature is going to take a look at, but of course they don't convene until January of 2023, so we'll have to wait to see. I do think that there, you know, there isn't a way to just say like, let's just increase salaries or let's Let's just pump more money into the system. And it's really about changing behaviors and structures and systems across 1,200 school districts. The fact that teachers continuously put so much work into this, into being good at what they do, and there's no reward other than, and I, I don't mean to diminish this, but there's no other reward than what you get from your students. The Teacher Vacancy Task Force is set to meet again later this month, and it includes 24 teachers from across the state. And they're not just talking about salaries, but also the certification and hiring processes for educators across Texas. We'll keep you updated.